and welcome to Medical Dialogues, your daily dose of health and medical news. I'm Roshni Dhan. Let's look at today's top headlines. Doctors should write generic non-proprietary pharmacological names only according to NMC prescription guidelines. Doctors should prescribe medicines with generic non-proprietary and pharmacological names only, said the recently released draft prescription guidelines by the National Medical Commission. The prescription guidelines form an integral part of the draft of the National Medical Commission Registered Medical Practitioner Professional Conduct Regulations 2022 recently released by the NMC. Besides noting that generic non-proprietary pharmacological names have to be prescribed, the guidelines reiterate the point by again stating that physicians should avoid prescribing branded generic drugs. The guidelines, however, lay down that in the case of drugs with a narrow therapeutic index, biosimilars and a similar other exceptional cases, this practice can be relaxed. Moreover, the guidelines go a step further, adding that doctors should encourage patients to purchase drugs from Jan Oshadi Kendras and other generic pharmacy outlets and should advocate for hospitals and local pharmacies to stock generic drugs. Dr. NDI University of Health Science invites applications for UG Student Research Scholarships 2022. Dr. NTR University of Health Science has invited applications for undergraduate student research scholarship program under Research and Development Department. The students of MBBS, BDS, Ayush, Nursing and Physiotherapy of the respective affiliated colleges can apply before they appear in their final examination. PG and intern students are not eligible for this program. The application and research proposal should be submitted along with the application station form as available on the university website in duly certified by the guide and head of the institution. The last date for submission is 25th of June. The application should be sent to the director of the research and development of Dr. NTR University of Health Science. Take even one case as an outbreak, government's guideline on monkeypox. Union Health Ministry on Tuesday issued guidelines for management of monkeypox, although India has not reported any case of the disease yet. Officials said that norms have been issued to ensure preparedness to deal with any potential crisis. The ministry said even one case is to be considered an outbreak, it should trigger a detailed probe by rapid response terms that need to be initiated through the Integrated Disease Surveillance Program. It directed all states and UN territories to report any suspected case immediately to the state and central surveillance unit, which shall report the same to the Health Ministry. The norm said contacts of a confirmed case should be monitored daily for onset of symptoms for 21 days. Over 1 million youth started smoking daily, mostly used Julie cigarettes according to U.S. study. Nearly 2,300 adolescent and young adults became new tobacco smokers in the U.S. over the period of 2017 to 19, with the total number of users under 21 years of age vaping as in using e-cigarettes, rising to over 1 million by 2019 accordingly to a new published research. Of these, 56.3% used Juul products in particular, according to research by John Pierce of the University of California, San Diego in La Jolla, and colleagues in the May 30, 2022 edition of the online journal Pediatrics. Researchers reported that Juul Labs disrupted the e-cigarette market when they introduced the first high nicotine e-cigarette, a sleek product with candy and fruit flavorings. That's all for today. Stay safe. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.